Look what they got here. What is this? Chicken ass. <laughs> you say chicken ass? We're gonna run through some questions. We're gonna eat some food. It's gonna be a great time. What is a food you miss from your home that you can't get in Asia? Stuffed crust pepperoni pizza from Pizza Hut. What food do you dislike the most except for cucumber? Oh, you know, when I had the mungae in Korea, the sea pineapple, not a big fan of that one. I don't, it was like drinking a cup full of ocean water. I don't get it. Most awkward moment, probably most every moment since I was born. Let's find some food. Wow, look what they got here. What is this? <laughs> you say chicken ass? Can I have a can I have a chicken ass? He sola. Wow, chicken ass. Okay, one chicken ass. We are waiting for that chicken ass to cook up. One more question. Do you have any advice for a YouTube newbie who wants to start documenting their travel adventures? Okay, this is great because nobody ever asks me any advice about stuff on YouTube. But here's what I would say. With each video, consider of what value is this to people. For example, this is a really low value video. This is me answering questions from select people. I don't do rating systems. I talk about, I think it's yummy or not yummy, but I'm not gonna tell you if you should eat it. I'm just some guy. The value I can offer is hopefully trying to be entertaining, show you some cool new things and, and give some interesting, entertaining insights here and there. So if you're gonna make some travel videos for YouTube, I would say look for the value you can offer people. Preferred hangover cure. Oh like a grilled cheese. This whole series started because of a grilled cheese. If it wasn't for Melting Monkey in Korea, I might not be here right now in the Philippines. Mm. It's emotionally good. You're like an angel. Let's take a thumbnail over here. Sorry, I need to just, I just need a quick thumbnail. How's that? Are we good? We've got some Isao to start out with which actually looks really lovely. They really have compressed it, they've grilled it, it's a bit charred. They've given me some vinegar here. Wesley Chong Photo says, can you even? I cannot even, bro. Would you consider doing best ever food review show outside of Asia? There's so much more of Asia that I wanna see. And I need to go to Indonesia, and I need to go to Malaysia, and Singapore, and Thailand, and India. Do you know that India is in Asia? I wanna go there too. So it's gonna take at least a couple years to cover all of that. Coming up next, we've got about 18 hearts of a chicken. The Cindy G says, what's the one food you'll never try? Actually, on this trip, I was offered some endangered sea turtle. I had to decline. I'm not gonna eat endangered animals. The show is about culture, not about shock value. Okay, hold on, let me eat a couple of hearts. This is so embarrassing. Some of my fans, uh, you, watch, you watch the best ever food review show? <laughs> they have no idea, they don't actually. And we're back. It is time for chicken ass. We all know that chickens have an ass, but maybe we didn't know it should be on the menu. Does a chicken ass have bones? Uh, I'm about to find out. I'm just gonna take a big bite of ass. That was very nice. My guys, look at this sign. Manang Kalea. If it's your first time eating ass, this is the place. Okay, on to the next food. Professor Robbie says, what's your address? You dick. <laughs> Are you even a real professor? Chicken liver. Chicken liver? Yeah. In the Saya, we called it a Thai. A Thai? I'm learning a lot tonight. Whoa! Yes, sir. Is this you have CC? Nacho CC? Nacho CC. Nacho CC. Can I have nacho CC? Uh, I'm sorry, we don't have nachos as of now. You gotta take that sign down. How many hearts have been broken already? Is this made with the pork face? Like the jaw part. Jaw. They're not serving you eyebrows and cheeks. They're giving you some lower neck meat. That works for me. It smells quite nice. Yeah. Is that MSG? What would you rather eat, balut or one day old chick? Thanks for coming to the Philippines. Thank you. I actually like balut. And uh, the one day old wasn't that bad. The thing is, this trip I had Hanoi. Hanoi, that was 18 days developed. That is a baby chick, chicken in the shell. Okay, you, you'll see my feelings on that in a future video. My dude. They're so good. What do you do for a living in Vietnam? I am a director, I'm a videographer. I work with a company called One Trip, helping them make their tour videos. And we're working together, making these uh, cool food videos every Thursday that you may have seen. Yeah, let's cook some pancit. Pan, pan, is it pancit or pancit? Pancit. Pancit, is it pan because it's in a, a pan? Yeah, it's in a pan. And it sits in a pan. <laughs> What's the best street food or dessert you ate in Vietnam? The Chui Nep Nung. This is the banana dessert where they put the sticky rice around the banana and grill it, and they put this coconut kind of dressing on top. Oh, 
So good. So good. I'm sweating just thinking about how good it is. Gina Lin says, what's your favorite Filipino food? I gotta say, my favorite Filipino food now, after having tried a few different things, it's either lechon or sisig. And I don't mean the one I just ate. I mean, the, I had one the other day. You're gonna see it from Rico's. It is one of the best things I've ever eaten. Whoa! Could this be a thumbnail? Do you like barbecued pig, cow, intestines? Yes. I just posted on the old Instagram today some pig intestines we had for lunch. They were crunchy and they were very clean and they were not animal-y at all. Is it besties or besties? Okay, there's a lot of confusion. It's besties with a Y. Uh, I changed it, whatever. Either one is fine. Dog meat, spill the beans. Yeah, I ate dog meat in Korea about five years ago. I, it was gross. Some people eat dog. What are you gonna do? So nice, thank you. What are the foods that you want to try in the Philippines? Well, I already tried most of them. I will say today I had dinuguan, and you can wait for the video to see what I thought. What are the things that you are doing before having a YouTube channel? I was, uh, for about five, six years, I was a video director in Korea. I made some music videos. Here's one that you're watching right now. Here's another thing that I made. Here's a TV commercial that I made. Will you be doing a Europe Best Ever Food Review show as you've already been all over Asia? No way, man. I don't know. Sorry. For me, Europe is pretty boring. Asia in general for me is a lot more visceral and it's a lot more in your face at times and you're just like in it. It's stimulating. There's like a, just a different energy here than like the cute, quaint cottages of Europe. I get why people like it. Castles and such, it's not my thing. I'm not a Harry Potter fan. And I've been not all over Asia. I've just been in five countries so far. I've got a lot of countries to go. You got some pork, noodles, and other various items. This is ridiculous. This is my fifth time in the Philippines. I've had this before. I've had it a few times. And it does not disappoint. Have you ever been robbed or mugged when you're scouting for a location or filming? I only got robbed uh, in Cambodia by the government. Their country has been completely at peace ever since my drone and my items were taken. There's been no conflict within Cambodia at all since then, so we can be happy about that. What are your short and long-term goals for Best Ever Food Review Show? I would like to be able to be self-sustaining, as in not losing money by 2018. If you want to be part of that, what you could do is help contribute to what I'm doing. I'm just some guy making videos. I work, I make money, and then I travel so I can make these videos to hopefully entertain you guys. If you like that, go check out my Patreon page. People can contribute per weekly video as low as a dollar and still get some cool perks. That would help me. Uh, and maybe it can help you get some neat, cool things that you want to see. In insider updates. Things like real, some real inside shit, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sponsorship is important, but then go look at some videos that I did, like teaching Cambodian villagers how to shotgun a beer. Do you think the Cambodian Tourism Board, if there is one, do you think they're gonna like sign off on that? It would be nice to maintain the freedom of this channel, and the more you have sponsors, the more you have people who wanna look over your shoulder and be like, eh, we, we want final cut. If you wanna contribute, love you, and, and then, but I actually love you. This is like fried pork belly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my bug net here. I'm putting in some vinegar. Put it in your mouth and then wow. Hey bestie, what's your secret ingredient to make your videos stand out from other food review shows? Oh, here's my secret ingredient. I try to make them funny. No one's doing that. Obviously, I was able to take over YouTube with my hilarious videos. Hi. Do a little peace sign. Peace. Can you say best ever food review show? Yeah. Luke Maxwell says, how are things with the ladies these day days? Look at this flop sweat. Obviously, I'm doing pretty good. Ladies like a guy who's never dry. Come here, what's your question? Are you doing like a free Do you like a guy with flop sweat? First of all, that's my question. Do you like guys who are very sweaty? To ask where the best place to go is. For food? No, which one? Oh, which one? Where are you from? London. London? I was just talking about how I like Asia more than Europe, sorry. Do you also? I mean, you're here and you're not at home, so. Yeah, true. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Another successful interaction with some women. All right, guys, that's been the best ever. Um, Sonny needs a reason to make a quick video, and so he does a quick Q&A instead of doing a real video show show for today. Visit the Patreon, consider it, and uh, we'll see you next time with an actual episode. Peace from the Philippines. I love you. Peace. <laughs>